Well, hello old car subscribers and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a sponsored video that you're not going to want to miss. Tonight we are putting new headlights, LED headlights, in old grandma. So stay tuned. So guys, as you know, we've had some issues with the headlight system on grandma. Ever since we tinted the front headlights, we aren't getting as much light coming out of these as we would hope to so what we've done was we've had the company last fit automotive reach out to us and want us to do a review on their la series bulbs and basically what they are is they are a standard 9007 plug-in that's hooked up to an led fixture which is cooled by a ball bearing fan and uh, it's gonna fit right in basically with very little to no modification. We're gonna take you through the process and in the meantime, show you how to change the headlight bulbs on a Crown Victoria or Grand Marquis and talk a little bit about these bulbs. So, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know is that on these Panther platform cars, the headlights are kind of buried in behind this header panel. So you will be operating a little bit blind, but as you can see right there, the plug-in is out in plain sight and all we had to do was remove this cover from in behind. Now I'm pretty sure I've shown this to you guys before in the past, but every once in a while we get this truck that rolls down through the line and it's a beautiful looking for it. So basically what we've got to do is we've got to reach in there kind of blind and because I've done it before, there's a little secure ring, locking ring that holds the light bulb in place and we take that apart and we pull the original bulb out. So as you can see, we've got this little locking ring that basically secures the bulb inside the headlight housing. So we, now we've got to get it unplugged and then I'll compare the two bulbs. So as you can see by the two plug-ins, they are identical. So they'll plug into this factory harness absolutely no problem. But one of the things that they suggest on these 9007 bulbs, that this white retainer ring has to come off, then you put the lock ring in and then you put the retainer ring back in place. So that's what we're gonna do now. In order for this to come off, you basically just turn it counterclockwise a little bit and it will just slide right out. And then we just slide this into place and put the retainer ring back on. And basically what that's going to allow us to do is that once this bulb is in place inside the headlight socket, we can take this and kind of give it a little turn and that will lock it into place. So that's what we're going to do and unfortunately you won't be able to see it because it is kind of hidden. Now one thing the instructions do suggest before you actually go and put everything into place is to test the light uh, and make sure that you've got power to it and everything's working. So let's uh, crank her up. And in case you didn't notice, it is a bright white color in the light, which means it's a 6000K bulb. And uh, so when we put these in, we should get a fairly clear light, but we won't know the true test until we get it out at nighttime with these tinted headlights and see what it looks like. So let's get it installed and then we will compare both the front headlights from one that has the new LA series in it and the factory. So this is the new Last Fit LA series bulb, the 9007 in this headlight. And this is OEM. Notice the difference in color. This one's quite a bit more yellow. And this one is a brighter white. I can't wait to get these things out at night and see how bright they are. So one thing you will have to do is remove the battery because likely you're not going to get your fingers down in this little hole to change that light bulb out. So you're going to have to take the battery out and come in from this direction. So we've got to get some tools and get that swapped out. As you can see, I'm down at the camper and I'm not sure I've got all the necessary tools down here to do it, but let's take a look. Okay, so I managed to find an eight millimeter socket to fit the end of my drill. Which, was a, which made us able to get the battery out. I've got this bulb changed, so now we wait for it to get dark and we'll take her for a drive. All right guys, we're getting ready to go for a drive to test out these lights and so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So let's hit the road. So guys, I'm not sure if you can see me in this light, at least I don't think you can. But nevertheless, here is a look at the Last Fit LA series lights on my Grand Marquis 2004. Let's take a look at the before and the after. I think there's a significant amount of difference. Let's go back to the before one more time and the after. 
You guys tell me what you think in the comment section down below. If I had to give my professional opinion on these light bulbs, they are significantly brighter than the original lights. And there you go guys, that is going to do it for this video on the Last Fit LA Series bulbs, which you can get your very own at the link provided in the description box below. And if you use promo code OLDCARAUTOGUY10, you can get 10% off a set of your very own. And hopefully we can work something out with Last Fit to make sure that we get more promotional material for Project Grandma. Also guys, long-term sponsor Sussex Beard Oil is sponsoring this beard. If you want to check out their website, the link is in the description box below. And the Car Guy and Six Fan Show will be back on air this Thursday on my channel at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern and 9 local time. We've got things all worked out. We hope to have everything kind of up and running uh, with this new system. And I hope you guys will join us to talk about automotive talk and news. So that is coming up this Thursday, and I hope to see you live on my channel. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.